It's time for Team Mom Trash Talk with Tracy. This Monday night on ABC, The Bachelor in Paradise is finally back with your favorite bachelors and bachelorettes looking for love in all the right and wrong places. Noel, how excited are you for The Bachelor in Paradise? I am off the wall excited. Well, I have a lot more to tell you, but I'm going to tell you a little bit later in the episode. Okay. We're here to talk about Season 10 B reunion part two, episode 35. This is Teen Mom Trash Talk, episode 209. I'm Tracy. That's Noel. You know us. Hello. It's really swell. Um, I would have, I just want to put this out there. I would have liked a little more of other people on this episode. Like who? I don't know. Maybe a little more Brianna. Some Roxanne. We did Brianna the entire time last time. I don't know. I feel like this whole or well, Brianna? I mean, this whole episode was just Jade and Ashley, you know? I don't know yeah, because we did. Ca- well, she, it was Leah. We did mm. a little bit of Leah the last time. Yeah. And now we're doing a little bit more Lita, L- Lita, mm-hmm. Lita, mm-hmm. Leah. And now Jade and Ashley. I mean, what what do you want them to recruit some off the street? I don't know. I was just so I. Oh, my God. I told you about before. a little bit more. Maybe they I just I watched this episode like six times in a row today. I was so bored. Yeah. And no, I, I couldn't understand. absorb. I got very emotional when I was watching it. But guys, if you want to hear more about me and Noel, <laughs> yeah. make sure you go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast for our bonus podcast. My favorite podcast to do with you. It's BS over 200 bonus episodes over there. That's where we do 16 and pregnant trash talk. That's where we do like everything good is over there. Go over there. Yeah, All this stuff go over there. All right, Noel. Yeah, we're going to start off with Leah. Let's just jump in the pool. I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. So we talk about compromise Curly's immune system. Yes. Compromise Curly. Stop. But why? Stop. Also, she says, so, okay. Leah cries, right? Mm -hmm. She's crying. And she says, like, don't tell me. This is her quote. Don't tell me science is real. This is her livelihood. Okay. She has absolutely no <laughs> clue what she's saying we're gonna get there so okay compromise curly tumor yes uh she exposes to us that she never did a self breast exam okay i bet you robbie did a self breast exam for her <laughs> on the on deer, the deer cam, cam. <laughs> mammogram on the deer cam okay so <laughs> deer cam mammogram <laughs> Oh, man, it starts already. I Uh wish that uh, Andrew would have been like, so you don't do self exams, but did anything come up on the deer cam mammogram? Right. (laughs) Didn't you get that like 10 years ago? (laughs) You should have seen this coming, Leah. (laughs) Um, It's only funny because she's fine, but like, come on, guys. Yeah. All right. So now she talks. This is this is where she talks about science. So um, she sends Curly's muscle biopsy to Ohio State University for more research, but she can't even like say it it's almost like she's announcing the cure okay but that's what i was confused about i'm like what am i missing here she was like i did it like like she she was almost like i did it guys i cured muscular dystrophy but then i kept rewinding it and she just said they're closer to a cure okay but because of her because of her i know but but that's what i'm saying (laughs) like she thinks that curly's must listen i'm glad she did it no, I but know. like also she didn't do it. I'm sure the doctor did it. No, she did it. She got her microscope <laughs> she had it, from the school fair. She had it in the freezer, <laughs> the muscle biopsy. Uh-huh. She was like, listen, <laughs> oh, shit. I must have sent straights muscle. <laughs> she put it in her CD ROM. <laughs> <laughs> no, they had a little piece in the uh, in the freezer of the muscle. I remember getting that microscope at uh, uh, the troll magazines. Oh, yes. Uh huh. I got the microscope. That was like the most expensive thing. Like I was a really good girl to get that. Yes, I thought I was going to see like cells and molecules. Okay. I have a real microscope. Okay. Bleed me. I need to see this. I have it. It's in my closet. All I wanted was a microscope my whole life. I want to look at everything. Okay. I want to show you everything. Okay. Show me the world. I can (laughs) show you the world. Through microscope eyes. Yeah. (laughs) I'm going to do it. Okay. So this is where she starts yelling. Don't tell me that science is real. Who's telling you that? Leah? I don't know. Who is telling you that? I don't know. Did Andrew say that science wasn't real? Right. 
I know that that's the thing, though. It didn't happen. I don't understand. Very, very weird. You think? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Really weird. Oh, my God. This is so strange. OK, so then she talks about her opioid abuse. Right. And Dr. Drew, a.k.a. Andrew, is like, oh, actually, you have to leave right from here because you have been subpoenaed to testify in a case for a doctor that overprescribes opiates. It's like, OK. And she's like, yes, I, like out of all of West Virginia. Uh huh. They were like, who is a worse drug addict than Leah? Right. It's Leah. She's number one. West Virginia is the capital huh. of opioid abuse. I just thought it was. It, this is all so is weird. It, OK, but also, was it her doctor that she's been subpoenaed against? I don't know. Because he just said a doctor. Right. And they don't give like any information. They're just like, oh, you you get here and you got to go. It's like, okay, OK, great. All right. So now she also implies that she thinks that Jeremy could have done more for Addy and that he doesn't like really uh, get involved as much as she should. Yeah, I, I mean, I could see that. Who knows? So then we go over to Corey and the girls <laughs> who are not on the same. So the girls are with their Leah's friend. Uh-huh. Who's been uh -huh. their babysitter since their kids, their apparently. 70 year she, old friend. <laughs> but she was their babysitter years ago because someone went into the group, our group, Teen Mom Trash Talk podcast on Facebook. Um, and they posted a screenshot of the same woman like years ago. Yeah, she was like one of Dawn's friends. Yeah, she's Mama a babysitter. Dawn. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. So Corey's not with the girls. OK, and that's the thing. I thought they were all going to be together. And I was like, oh, cute. Corey takes Addie. No, guess not. <laughs> I don't think Corey would ever take Addie. No, I don't think um, Miranda, I don't think Miranda would, would that. like that very so, much. Okay, so Andrew's like, how? Oh, no, Nessa said, how's uh, Miranda? Right. And he's She's like, good. Oh, <laughs> oh, God, please stop it. Please don't say that word. <laughs> I'm going to oh, get God. in so much trouble. I am already. He's probably she's probably sitting on the floor next to him, pulling his toenails out. Uh huh. Uh -huh. like, oh god this hurts so bad don't say the stop. wrong thing and they're like how's remy and she's like oh this there he's goes like oh she's, she's wild she's wild mm -hmm. it's like okay he actually had to do this in a parking lot because miranda wouldn't let him do this in the house for sure i mean it's true though he's not allowed to, you notice he didn't even look at the camera hardly he can't too. look at the I camera know. because then it would look like he's looking at leah it would look like he was making eye contact she's like uh -huh. fine but do it in a parking lot and don't look into the camera <laughs> And he's like, well, that was what I was going to do. <laughs> Can I dip while I do it? She's like, of course you could dip while you do it. Why don't you bring a gun? Dip while you do it. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a fun dance. Oh, my God. Dip while you do it. Dip yeah. Dip while you do it. Dip while you do it. Dip. Yeah, like I that put my hand up on your hip. When <laughs> I dip, you dip, we dip. You know? While you do it. Okay. <laughs> so now um, Straight Alley does not want to be called Gracie anymore. And Dr. Drew's like, oh, that's so mature. It's like, no, it's because it's not her name. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be called Gracie anymore. Like, either. Right, because my name is actually not Gracie. That's that's the real reason I don't want to be called Gracie. Right. Her name is Aaliyah. Is it? Or Aliana? I don't know. No, I don't know. You know, she said Aaliyah. She okay. said Aaliyah. She, yeah, but she doesn't know. She, I wouldn't know either. <laughs> she you gets know? very confused. Noelle. Yeah. Monday on ABC, love is a beach and someone will get burned. <laughs> Bachelor in Paradise is finally back with your favorite bachelors and bachelorettes looking for love in all the right and wrong places. It's going to be SPF'd up. Sounds lit. Starting Monday on ABC. These guys and gals have waited a long time to get back to the beach and they're just bursting, thirsting and pounding mm. against uh, the waves. <laughs> and just to make it a bit hotter, a few celebrities are packing their bags to guest host. David Spade, Little John, Lance Bass and more will dip their toes in the paradise waters this season. Can Queen Victoria find her king? Will Connor the cat prove that he can kiss? Will anyone even talk to Carl? <laughs> it's paradise like you've never seen. And who knows? Someone or someones might get married. Think you've seen this before? Beach, please. Bachelor in Paradise premieres Monday at 8, 7 Central on ABC. Beach, please. All right. Well, speaking of the beach, let's talk about Jade. All right. She's a real beach herself. <laughs> she is a beach. She doesn't want Christy to come out on stage. Mm -hmm. Um, Her stepdad, Corey? Yeah. 
he looks not well. What would, what has he looked? He looks unweller than usual. Yeah, he doesn't look great. Also, the outfit that Jade is wearing, I, yeah. I couldn't put my finger on it, but I'm like, oh, I wore this to a bar in 1998. She's got on like a three piece matching she has outfit. A, right. But the the long duster is the thing that I really <laughs> she looked like a poet. That's what you used to call Gabrielle. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm telling you, like the, the long yeah. duster. Yeah, it's that was true. my jam in 98. I do like a long duster. Um, not really like now. No, no, like back in the day. Yes, yeah, I did. Uh huh. So she talks about the disappearing act that uh, Christy and Corey did. Right. And she's like, I thought my mom was going to leave me to die. Why is it that I feel less bad because this was an elective surgery? Okay. Cause you're mean, but no, I get it because it's also like, but it's also like, I feel less bad because I would have hired a nurse. You knew mm -hmm. what you were doing. Yeah. She, yeah, but, oh, she did hire a nurse. Her name was Christy. And apparently uh -huh. she's a surgical nurse. Sure she is. Yeah. We've yeah. heard this before. I don't know if I believe that. Yeah. No, well, the surgical nurses all live in the motel together. Well, yeah, that's right. True. Maybe she must be an unemployed surgical nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she works at the animal hospital. <laughs> Who knows? I could see her in scrubs with cats on them. Oh, she could definitely wear scrubs mm -hmm. with cats on them. Uh huh. She's probably like, give me that pit bull. <laughs> I'm going to hold him down while you <laughs> put your finger in his ass. And they're like, we don't even have to do that, Christy. She's like, yeah, but let's do it anyway. I'm good at it. <laughs> oh, look at, look at what's running by. It's a husky. <laughs> you sound just like her. Her voice is horrifying. It's very horrifying. Mm -hmm. So, but Jade is crying. She misses her mom. Plot twist, though. Yeah. Corey. Little known fact is Sean's dad. This is a Kate and Ty situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me that they don't look exactly alike. Okay, they do. That is Sean's future. That's the ghost of Sean's past. <laughs> <laughs> a few, he is going to knock of, on yeah. Ebenezer Scrooge's door. Sean yes. is the ghost of Corey's past. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that works. Corey has chains on his arms that he's throwing. You know, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't hate Sean. Um, all right. Well, we'll get there. So okay. Christy leaves the stage because she yes. thinks she's being set up to look like a dope fiend. Okay. I mean, set up question mark or just looks like a dope fiend. Okay. Because Andrew's like, um, maybe it was a little bit of your fault. Right. Well, that's the thing. She won't take any responsibility. Right. He's like, okay, but it did happen. She's right. Like, yeah. But I didn't want it to happen. He's like, but it did. Right. It's like you can't get a straight answer from her. Not at all. Yeah, it's really strange. It's the strangest, actually. So, all right. <sighs> Sean comes out. He yes. brings some flowers. With flowers. Uh-huh. And then he reveals that him proposing with an engagement ring wasn't really a proposal. That was a quote. So Dr. Andrew is mm -hmm. like, so you didn't want an answer? <laughs> He's like, not really. Right. And it's like, well, good thing because you didn't get one. So that works. I out. just needed her to know how I felt. Okay. Noel, is there a wooden tooth situation going on with Sean? There been a wooden tooth situation. Yeah, it's going just on. very extra woody today. Yeah. Things are going downhill for it's those a teeth. forest in his mouth. <laughs> he needs a deforestation in that mouth. <laughs> he definitely does. <laughs> um, so now we talk about the fight with Sean and Corey. Wait, listen, Sean, stop hitting your dad. Yeah, right. Because this is your dad. This is the ghost of your future. Stop <laughs> hitting him. So she also um, Jade tells Andrew that she's not going to be on stage with her parents. So OK, I mean, I don't blame her. Andrew and Jade talk backstage in the dark. OK, but what's with this dramatic music that plays? I liked it? I really liked it. It was dark. It was dramatic. It was like they were in a closet together. I really liked it. Yeah, it was like a lame interview. Like it was like a current affair. It was Christy in the dark. Had, I know. I liked it. <laughs> Christy had this comb over situation going on. Yeah, her hair isn't nice. Um, she said, <laughs> this is my favorite part. Mm -hmm. She goes, quote, I don't want to be taped right now. And then she says something like, I need to get myself together. Right. As they film her. And uh -huh. like, oh, OK, cool. And they're like, definitely put that part in. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you put that part in. Don't cut it out. Mm -hmm. She said that she regrets doing the show, yada, yada, yada. But you know what, though? What? I bet she regrets doing the show because she sees how much that Jade orders takeout. Oh, Jade orders a lot of takeout. But 
If Jade had HelloFresh, she would get fresh pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to her door. You could skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Yum. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips with less prep, less effort, and minimal cleanup so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes. Oh, amazing. I love that. Noel, this mm-hmm. summer, HelloFresh has everything you need to get grilling. Grilling bundles, burger packs, surf and turf packs, and more. That means less shopping and more sizzle. I absolutely love HelloFresh. I've been using it for like two years now. Noel loves it too. Mm-hmm. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Trash Talk 14 and use code Trash Talk 14 for up to 14 free meals plus, plus free shipping. So that's HelloFresh.com dot com slash trash talk 14 use code trash talk 14 i mean 14 free meals come on seriously so um christy saw jade last friday yeah she showed up at our house and sat there and wait she went jade wouldn't speak to her i wouldn't want to speak to her either though yeah i don't Um, uh, so what he (laughs) i'm a little confused by so many things that happened in this episode so Dr. Andrew yeah. is asking Christy if they gave her a prescription beforehand mm-hmm. for Jade. Right. And she's like, no, they didn't. And then he's like, okay, well, did they give you the, the, um, what was it? The Coumadin or the Humira or whatever. It was the, right. blood, the blood thinner. Yeah. She's like, oh, maybe. Right. That, okay. I couldn't, uh, he's like, she's like, maybe I can't remember. And Jade okay, like, so, this is bullshit. But it is bullshit because you yeah. think they gave her the blood thinner prescription before the surgery or during the surgery. And then they waited for after the surgery to give her another prescription. Right. And then why didn't she just give Jade that, that medication then? I don't know. It's so confusing. No, but she, they gave, listen, they didn't give her one script and then a few hours later, another script. Right. Right. Well, that's why Jade says it's BS. She's mm-hmm. absolutely right. Mm hmm. Um, so she said, Mm -hmm. quote, I'm sorry, Jade feels the way she feels. It's so like narcissistic. She's like, I don't know why she thinks that I did this. And, and Andrew goes, because you did. And then she's felt attacked. Yes. So Mm -hmm. now, um, you know, there's like a lot of weird stuff going on. She won't take, you know, she, Dr. Drew's trying to hold her accountable. She's not interested. She will not take any accountability. And then. Um, she's like, yeah, she looks so beautiful, Jade. It's like, okay. Okay, but you know what? That has nothing to do with anything. I really didn't like that. Well, she thinks that she can kiss Jade's ass. Mm-hmm. And that, right, but it work. has nothing to do with what's going on right now. Then there's lots of undecipherable words coming from Christy. Yeah, I don't understand what was going on. Okay. I don't know what she was saying. And then she said that she can't give her space because... What if I got killed by a drunk driver? That's so manipulative. He's like, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, what if, what if you got killed by your husband? Yeah. But the thing is like to do that to your child, I've been in that position before. It's so, that's so manipulative. What if Miguel stopped paying the rent? (laughs) Yeah. Right. Then what would you do? You know, I'll be fucked. So she walks off. She's over it. The show uh, ruined her family, ruined her life. Right. right. So now we find out Jade was in foster care. Okay. So that's the thing. When is she is acting like she was this best mom, I don't know why my daughter hates me. I love her so much. She was in foster care. She was in foster care. How so great was you. Yeah, that's terrible. Do you think that it is a coincidence that both Kale and Jade had uh, stints in foster care and then are on a teen pregnancy show. No. Uh-uh. Just saying. Not at all. I don't know what's going on with them. She is Christy something. Listen, I don't like Jade. Everyone knows I don't like yes. Jade. Jade is a is somewhat of a product of her environment. Not that he, she's mm-hmm. using drugs, but she uh, has that victim mentality. Yes, she does have that victim mentality. Mm-hmm. She does. And it's like, that's why she attacks everyone that asks her anything. And it's like, you need to work through this. Well, that's what you know. She's the type of person that purposely will let herself suffer to do things and say so she how bad she it. suffered. Yes. yes. That she has no help, this, that. But you never ask for it. Well, the other thing is, I think that a lot of 
moms, like other just moms watching the show yeah. probably get really mad because I don't think that every mom has help. No, of course not. Absolutely you know? not. So just because you don't have help, like a lot of moms don't have help. Right. That's, but I feel like that's the norm not yeah. having help. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's like, I don't have help. Yeah. That's, that's how Neither life do goes. most moms. You right. shouldn't have had kids if you didn't want to. Yes. Like that's, you get screwed. Yeah. I get it. It's frustrating, but at the same time, like, I don't know. Yeah. That's I agree a privilege. With you. No, I agree with you on that. It's like, you shouldn't expect everybody to help you just because you have no. a kid. You chose to have a kid. It's a privilege. Noel, yeah. if you had a kid. Yeah. And you were like, well, no one's helping me. It's like, well, I mean, you chose to have, I'm sorry. I didn't, I don't want to babysit your kid. Yeah. It's not my job to babysit your kid. Mm -hmm. You did it. Now uh, let's move on to Ashley. Okay. I don't know what's happening here, but sure. Okay. I feel like was Ashley um, either someone had a gun to her back. Mm -hmm. That would explain something, right? Yeah. She was like a Stepford wife. It was so weird. If we, if you and I mm-hmm. didn't know Ashley and didn't know the family, didn't mm-hmm. know Pastor T, I would think she was on drugs. Last night. Yeah. Yes. 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 But like, we know that she's not, but like, I would a hundred percent think she was. She was acting crazed. Shifty. I don't know if that's the right word. But like, almost like, you know how you say like blink twice? Mm-hmm. Like if something's wrong, it yeah. was like, there was something like there was kidnappers there yes, to traffic like- her. Yeah, yes. like was Britney Spears' dad having a little chat yes. with Ashley before she did this? That's what it seemed like. It was so weird. You're right. When you said a gun to her back, that's exactly what she was mm-hmm. acting like. Yes. Yeah. She was just like smiling, like super smiley, like more smiley than we've ever seen Ashley smile. I've never seen her like this before. This isn't her. She's not like this. Nope. So also she's wearing this corset. <laughs> I knew that would bother you. Uh-huh. She's wearing this corset like she's going to be performing Moulin Rouge. Uh Uh-huh. That's her vampire outfit. (laughs) I said to you last night on the phone, I was like, Uh imagine having Ashley's body. Sick body. Uh And then this is the outfit you choose. I think it's because she got her breasts done, maybe. No, I'll show them. No, see, I would wear that if I didn't get my breast done to make them. I know. Up. Yeah, I don't know. She did. She belonged to an interview with a vampire in this <laughs> outfit. Yes, she did. She was like, listen, guys, can we make this snappy? Because I have rehearsal uh, with Christina Aguilera in a little while. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I got to do a little lady marmalade. <laughs> you know, I wish they would have showed um, Holly. Yes. I, OK, I do miss Holly, but they didn't show any of the kids. So that's why. No, but they showed Leah's kids. I mean, Leah's kids are like old, though. I don't know. Those are the only kids we saw. Yeah. I like other kids better. I like Holly the best. Yeah, I love Holly. I wish we would have seen her. So now she said that she's engaged. Mm-hmm. OK, but what does that feel like? Feels like a wife. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> she said it feels like a wife. And it's like, what? So being engaged feels like a wife. I don't get it. So it feels the worst. Yeah, I don't know what that means. It feels like it cooks and cleans. Yeah. It feels <laughs> like you have to make three meals a day for the rest of your life and share everything always. <laughs> no, I'll tell us more. <laughs> no. It's this just so be- funny. I don't know what that meant. This seems to be my therapy, right? Yes. <laughs> it means that you have to do all these things just for someone else and not for yourself anymore. Um, <laughs> Ashley, also, this is a real thing. She said, maybe they should have no more surprise parties. Yeah. Yeah. They're not going well. Yeah. The, um, you know, I mean, listen, they didn't want to talk about it, but Barr, you know, shot a gun. So, yes, Barr comes out. They're like, OK, we're going to bring Barr out now. Yeah. But the thing is, Barr's just there. He's just there. <laughs> and then they have like fake clapping. I know. Like they almost brought him out like he just got a Jenny Jones makeover. Right. <laughs> Right. And the clapping. It's like, what right? is this? Or do you remember on Ricky Lake when they would the bell would ring the doorbell? It'd be like, ding dong. Vaguely. And then be like, oh, who's there? And then it was always like up. There was a staircase in the back of the set uh-huh. and there was a door at the top of the staircase and they would open the door and run down the steps. Oh, I do remember that. You know, I wish I could watch reruns of Ricky Lake. Oh. I do that with that and like Richard Bay, maybe oh, so good. <laughs> Jenny Jones, too, though. Jenny Jones was the tits, but you'll never find that because that guy died. 
who died? You know, they took her off the air because, you know, the the love connections, you know, it's like secret mm-hmm. crushes. It's supposed to be like, oh, I have a secret crush on this yeah. person. I'm going to bring him on here and confess. Yeah. So this guy came on. He confessed to having a crush on this other guy mm-hmm. and the guy killed him. He wound up killing him after the show. Yeah. Oh. And that's why Jenny Jones went off the air. Yeah, it's so crazy. Oh, isn't that terrible? I mean, they had a guess that that would happen. Right. I, but it's like, I don't know. Like, I, and the other guy was like a known, like, homophobic guy. And it's like, they brought him here knowing that a man had a crush on him. They kind of, <laughs> yeah. They wanted, they, they were wanted like, I bet something. you, he, I bet you won't murder him after the show. <laughs> right. And he's they like, yeah. Bad, but I don't think he'll murder him. <laughs> he's like, yeah. You want to make a bet? Uh huh. Yeah. So that's why Jenny Jones stopped. Also, maybe don't go on a TV show and then murder the guy because I think we know who, who did it. That's the thing. <laughs> we know who did it. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Okay. Here's another thing that makes no sense. What? So she said that her graduation party was a throwback party to the era that you felt the sexiest. Okay. But I thought it was a 90s party. No, she said you just chose the era you felt the sexiest. She said some people did the 2000s, some people did the 90s, some but people did the 80s. But Ashley's like 20. Okay, so when she was four, she felt the sexiest? Right. Also, Bard did the 80s and 90s when he wasn't born? But I don't understand because also like what she was wearing was not, that was in style when I was young. She is much younger than me. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. She was yeah. saying that she felt the sexiest when she was a toddler. Right. Right. And you're right. Barr wasn't born yet. Uh Barr wasn't born. He felt the sexiest before he existed. That was so weird. He felt the sexiest in his dad's balls. Uh He should have just came as one big testicle. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Very, very weird concept. Yeah. Party. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just a 90s party. Yeah, that's really what I thought, because everything was kind of 90s. The big phones, the boom box. Mm -hmm. And then even the print on the cake. Yeah. The print on bar. It was very like saved Saved by the by the bell. Mm hmm. Look at us. <laughs> so <laughs> Mr. Andrew asks yes. why Barr can't travel. And Barr's like, listen, we're not doing this. It was very weird. Right. It was so awkward. Mm-hmm. But he was also speaking in riddles. OK, so I guess maybe ahead of time, Barb was like, I'm not talking about this. Right. And they brought it up anyway. But then he also said something like, There are people who didn't want him there. But that's what I'm saying. Like there was so many. Yeah. um, Like almost like a subtweet. Yeah. Yes. It was like undertones. Yes. Subreddits. (laughs) A lot of subs. Uh Uh-huh. A lot of shade thrown, but it was not direct. But I would have said, I told you before the show that I'm not talking about this, but he was just like, we're not doing this. We're not going there. And Ashley was, it was weird. Right. Ashley's like, are you feeling uncomfortable? It's like, what? right. We can leave. Yeah. Um, he calls out uh, basically Andrew on his BS. That's what yes. Barr's going to attack Andrew. Ashley's acting weirder than ever. And then they asked Barr about his ankle monitor. And he mm-hmm. said that it's an ankle monitor to control his access to alcohol. Right. I guess to detect it in his system. Right. So, well, it is. I know that that is. But how does that work? It, it, I'm going to tell you how it works. Yeah. There's something that touches your skin uh-huh. on there. It's almost like how like a Fitbit like a sensor. There's a sensor, almost like how a Fitbit takes your heart rate uh-huh. and it touches your skin and alcohol comes out of your pores when you drink uh-huh. and it detects that. Creepy. Okay. Super creepy. So he says, quote, I do have an addiction. Right. Well, he said that before he struggled with. Okay, but then you see him wasted drunk at the party right Uh, after. Oh, yeah. He hasn't given up drinking. Uh huh. And he also says that he's been diagnosed with a few things, but he won't say what. I don't think he won't say. I think he just, you know, it's probably like Ashley clearly has been diagnosed with something that we don't know about. (laughs) And it was very recent. Yes. It was within hours of taping. Yeah, it was really weird. Uh And she said, quote, we all in therapy in my house. I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah. I like Barr so much. Okay, but I've always liked Barr. I like so, him. So many people don't like him. It's I love so, him. But when you look at the facts on paper, it's like, okay, so he's been pretty abusive. He has an alcohol yeah. problem. He's in and out of, you know, the system. Yeah. Uh, he shot guns up in the air. Right. He's been a shit, like, you know, he's been shitty. 
And I'm like, I don't know, man. I like this kid. Yeah, I, I, I hate like that him I like a lot. him. No, me too. I listen. The only thing I can't get behind is these music videos that he posts. You know oh, that. Oh my god. I can't. I can't take it. Bar, bar. What are you doing? Bar, bar. Stop. Stop. Don't do this to me. He spits <laughs> bars. Yeah, bar spits bars. Great. Uh huh. <laughs> So he has to turn himself in in a few days. And I did enjoy. He how giggles. <laughs> I liked how Ashley reacted to that. Yeah. And she's like, it's not funny. It's not a joke. She's like, this mm-hmm. is not funny. This is not a joke. Driving drunk is disgusting. Mm-hmm. And you are getting what you deserve, basically. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I like that. So now we bring T up. T right. looks great. Oh, she God, has she on a necklace so mm-hmm. that says T across it. I know. I love it. She has janet jackson hair i love it mm-hmm. and then she has on these earrings from when she was a bridesmaid in, bridesmaid in her friend's wedding apparently yes she did, <laughs> yes, she did. i was like all right she's so I cute you. <laughs> now uh they're talking about t's engagement ring which is very large okay but it's like a man's ring i know it is but i like that you know i like man stuff that is like an Italian man's pinky ring. Yes. Like I want one of those men's bracelets, like those thick ones like that. Like I really? want that. Yeah, I want that. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with me. I buy men's clothes too. You know that. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. Okay. So now they uh, basically roast the ring a little bit. They're roasting her. Uh-huh. Um, then T starts crying because of holly and she says holly was my dream and i got it i That's couldn't take it and then i cried my heart that was so nice imagine like being loved that much by someone no right that's crazy <laughs> no. that's crazy nobody ever was- wanted me enough to cry <laughs> i gotta tell you i don't think anyone loves anyone the way that she loves holly. no it's that was so cute, so cute. yeah i love most that. grandparents would be like it's a lot of work now yeah no, she loves it. And I love that while she's taping, someone's ringing the doorbell because I'm like, this is what happens to me when I'm podcasting. Oh, God, it always happens. Uh-huh. And she's then like, talk- it's my dream come true. Someone's <laughs> at my door. She's like, not now. <laughs> so uh, we talk about a little bit about the racism. And, you know, they yeah. do talk about how they kind of like protected Ashley. Right. And Ashley was like kind of confused. She said that, you know, she's like, well, I thought that like, you know, the world wasn't like this anymore. Sure. And she's like, and same then, though. Yeah, I get it. And then you get exposed to this and it's like, yeah. oh, this is terrifying. So now Kayla from Young and Pregnant is out. She has um, gross. She has aged. What the fuck happened to her? She has seen some shit. She also got a tattoo of her daughter's name. I saw it, which she spells stupidly and I pronounce it wrong every single time. What is uh-huh. it? Her name is Aria. But uh-huh. she spells it like Mariah without the M. Mm, like, okay. so it looks like Araya. Uh, so let's just call her Araya. That's right. Yeah. Uh-huh. So now we flash back to when Ashley and Kayla fought on stage and they asked what happened. And this is where Ashley's even crazier. Yeah. Ashley is checked out now. So she apologized. Yeah. Um, and she's like, you know, we were just, you know, hormones. And then like, you know, tensions were high and there was no answer. And- uh huh. Yeah, there was no answer. And apparently they're friends now. Yeah, it was just because um, because Ashley wanted to be on Teen Mom, too. I feel like that's what everything was about. Uh huh. So now I got to tell you, I got upset about the clip that they showed from Young and Pregnant. I don't know why I Kayla is a nasty little twat. She just is. I got upset. I did not like it. I don't care if she's nasty. I don't care. Stefan's mom is the bottom of the barrel person. Listen, Stefan's mom is garbage, but Kayla always does this. She's so petty and nasty. And you're sitting there and she's like, you didn't say thank you. And it's like, thank you for what? You know, know, it's like, but but here's the thing. This woman has treated her so bad. I get it, but I feel like she was asking for it. She, someone needs to smack the smirk off of her face. Well, um, Stefan's mom calls her a bitch and then she goes after her. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. And now we see that there's another Kayla that's going to be on Young and Pregnant, but yeah. her child is grown. Yeah, I don't really know much about her. I was reading about her, and it's like she owns, I think, I believe, a lingerie company. Ooh. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. exciting. Yeah. And then Madison from the most recent 16 and Pregnant is joining also. I really like, I remember her dad was the best. He built her that little house. Her dad really was the best. And let yeah. me tell you something. He bought yeah. her a lot of stuff. And all I really want is some more jewelry from Pura Vida. 
Me too. Pura Vida is an apparel brand that's all about comfort, fun, and living life to the fullest. And you could shop now and give back with Pura Vida. It is one of the coolest apparel and accessory brands out there. And giving back has always been the core of what they do. Let me tell you, Noelle, we got the cutest jewelry from there. Tracy, I wear my ankle bracelet all the time. It's got moons and stars on it. People love it. I wear my open heart rose gold I'm ring all the with time. That ring. Mm-hmm. And they have buttery soft 100% cotton tees and hoodies, including graphic tees and crop tees. And they have tie dye and leopard print, colorful, fun backpacks and free stickers with every order. Oh, I love that. And there's hassle free returns on all clothing, which makes things way easier. Keep an eye out for the fall clothing and jewelry line launching this August. Okay. Pura Vida, look good and do good. To get 20% off Pura Vida apparel, text TALK to 38817. That's TALK, T-A-L-K, to 38817 to get 20% off apparel at Pura Vida. Terms apply. Available at puravidabracelets.com slash terms. Text TALK, 38817. All right. Noel. Yeah. Rachel's eyebrows gave me the life that I needed. Here's the thing. I knew that they were coming because I saw this, but I wasn't ready for them. That, the blonde hair, the tattoo on her face. Noelle. What is happening? My baby's back. Tracy, I cannot wait. I wonder if she knows personally. Like, I mean, we've spoken to Rachel before and I never really expressed to her how she has changed my life also i must say rachel was really nice when we talked to her super nice yes she she's, was very nice she's very very nice mm-hmm. um i love her i love her i love her whole family They're i can't wait the drama she needs a spin-off okay first of all the beavers need a spin-off 100 the, the beavers i am so excited to see her i cannot wait to see what happens noel the beavers it's a show already like the let's beavers. do it uh-huh it has it's a new kardashians it's way better than the Kardashians. Now that the Kardashians are off the air, the Beavers are going to take over, baby. Okay, but here's the thing. Yeah. I need them to have the Beavers, but I need them to not really pay them. Like, almost like, hey, guys, listen. This mm-hmm. is a 10-year thing that we're going to do. It's this documentary-style TV show. We're going to pay you a ton of money, but we can't give it to you until the end. Oh. Because it's going to ruin the show. That sounds like amazing. We'll put, it, we'll put it in trust for you. Well, no, it's true, though, because once you get money, they're not fun anymore. Not fun. Well, yeah. I don't need Rachel to have money. Like, I want to see what's going on. Also, though, I would like to have, to have a little bit of money because look what happened. She got a little bit of money and she got a tattoo on her face. Well, I you mean, know what I mean? She was just $100 away from that before. I can't wait. That's what is Amanda, the tattoo on Amanda her face? Bynes has the same tattoo. It's a heart tattooed oh, under her eye, her. a black heart. Oh, yeah. Um, I actually <laughs> know someone not not personally, but um, this girl um, that is in jail for meth. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. I know yeah. this person. Yes. Not personally, she, but I know of this person. She has. Um, yeah. As, as I look at her mug shots online, mm-hmm. she gets more and more face tattoos. And one of them is the heart under her eye. That's oh my god, Noel, I was saying that we should get matching tattoos. Oh, is that the one we're gonna get? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Um, uh, I have a friend you could get it with instead. I have another friend. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I think that it's good for covering up a pimple. Mm, you're not wrong there. Where do you usually get pimples? I usually get them on my chin. Should we get chin hearts? I get them right around my chin. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So maybe we should get something around the chin. Maybe we should get a beard tattooed on it. Oh, OK. You know, this girl on Instagram, I saw her the other day. She got a tattoo across her neck right at the apple. And yeah. it says not for sale. Just the neck area or the whole body? Yeah, I don't know. It's like which part of your body, right? Is not for sale. Yeah. Who knows? Oh. Like her neck isn't for sale, but like her leg is. Right. But her ear is like what isn't for sale? Is it everything above the line? I don't know. Oh, my God. Well, you know what I do now? Go over to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast to check out all of our bonus podcasts. Also, make sure you check out Catfish. We have some crazy stuff going on over there. Catfish Trash Talk Mm -hmm. um, is our other podcast. And (laughs) Noel. Oh, man, guys, you have to hear it to believe it. My brain is scrambled from this week. We had um, we had one of the guys, Roger, from the episode on to tell his side of the story. And woof, 
It you is just need cool. to hear it. You just need to hear it. Make sure you go to Catfish Trash Talk. Listen to our other podcast, 90 Day Fiance uh, Trash Talk. And also, if you want to get into the group Teen Mom Trash Talk podcast on Facebook, make sure you use our password. It's besties, B-E-S-T-I-E-S. And make sure you um, answer all the questions. All right. Okay. One more thing. Yeah. If you are our patron, mm-hmm. meaning that you're joining the Patreon, you listen to our bonus episodes, make sure that you're not listening on the Patreon app. Make sure that you're using the RSS feed. You get yes. a personalized RSS feed that you can put into your podcast player. Um, it's in um, the welcome note from Patreon. I actually it's- just walked someone through that to do it on their Android. Yes. And if you don't know uh, about this and need some help, post in the group and we'll all help you. Uh, but definitely do not listen on the Patreon app. No, and don't comment on the Patreon. Yeah, app just too, go, right? go into the group. Yeah. If you, you hear something on the podcast um, that you want to talk about, go into the Facebook group, the regular one, not on Patreon, because we don't all have access to that. All right. <laughs> Lots of housekeeping today. Yeah, there's all the housekeeping. Also. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, well, fortunately, but unfortunately, I'm opening up for Chris Frangiola October 2nd in Philadelphia, and I just got word that it's sold out. Hell yes. So I will just, be there. But I have other show dates coming up. So go to TracyCarnazzo.com mm-hmm. for the rest of my show dates. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter at Trixie Tuzini, T-R-I-X-I-E-T-U-Z-Z-I-N-I. And check out Noelle at Noe Girl on Instagram and Twitter. And check out the show at Teen Mom Podcast on Twitter, Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram. Join the group. Give us a five-star Tough. rating. Give us an amazing review on Apple Podcasts. Come on over. Tell a friend. Only one. Tell one. It's very <laughs> exclusive. I'll see you next week. Okay? Okay. Okay, bye. Bye.